My name is Robert Lovett. I'm an admissions counselor here at Beach House Center for Recovery. Uh, essentially what that means is I'm the first point of contact for our clients and the face of the organization. I'm the first person that the clients would speak to when they call the center and I walk them through every step of the process all the way to our initial pickup. The most common calls that we get are from clients that feel they no longer have any options available to them. These are individuals that have previously sought out help or maybe they're seeking help for the first time. Family, friends, loved ones have reached out to them, let them know that they're concerned and they're really at a point in their life where they're looking for somebody that can give them a hand up. And that's what we're here to do, is reach out to them, let them know that there is help for them. Beach House is very unique in the industry. I've worked at other admissions departments before, and what sets Beach House apart is uh, you're not just another client with a number attached. This isn't some white-walled facility that people come to where they're walking around in gowns. Uh, there's an excitement here. There is, uh, there's life, there's opportunity, and with the different programs that we have available, there's something for everybody. So we're not a one size fits all. We don't believe that one route to, to rehabilitation or to sobriety is going to fix for everyone. And what we do is we have some of the best people in the business. We have some of the best programs available. And we take one-on-one -on -one time with our clients to learn what it is that they're looking for. And through that, we're able to help them find a love and connection that they've been, that they've been looking for. Uh, my first month working in the rehab field, I had a client who I worked very closely with him and his father, and I was just myself a new father. And I remember speaking with them, explaining, you know, you just bring your son here, he'll be safe, he'll be healthy, we're gonna give him the help he needs. Uh, the son unfortunately did not follow through with the program, he left early, and within 24 hours he had overdosed and died. And it was one of the most painstaking things to do to have to call the father and explain to him that he should pull over to the side of the road and call the local hospital so that they could explain what had just happened to his son. And emotionally that's draining and you want to be able to do more. And I remember reaching out to my wife and she was able to write me a personalized note that I keep with me on my desk. And it reminds me that what I'm doing is more important than just coming in and answering calls. I'm potentially the person that has the opportunity to reach out to these people, let them know that there is help, and help them find the success that they're looking for. Uh, nobody wants to be alone, and if I can be that voice for somebody that tells them there's something to live for, there's another reason to keep going, even if they choose not to come to our facility, um, just letting them know that help is there, that people care about them, that we love them, that's what's most important to me.